So, what's up, y'all? Couch conversations, transparent moment, last minute video, kind of, sort of. And yes, I've been crying before y'all ask, but we gonna get into that. Uh, don't feel bad, just pray for me. That's all you gotta do. Um, I'm trying not to cry during the video, though. And if y'all see me holding this, it's a clutching cross. I actually got it from my grandpa before he passed away. So, sometimes I just kind of hold it when I'm asleep or just stressed or whatever. But they're called clutching crosses. So, they they work really good. And you just hold them like this. But, um, transparent moment. Because y'all know I have no problem being transparent. And as I help me, I was like, well, why not just help everybody else? Like. God gave you this while you're struggling. God gave you this voice and you need to use it. And in one of my previous videos, when I was talking about entrepreneurship, one of the first tips I gave was have faith. Have faith. Because when I tell you, faith is the only thing that's going to keep you going. Because there's going to be times like the time I just had where you sit and I'm thinking to myself, like, did I make the right decision? It Like, do I, am I, am I going back to work? Should I go back to work? Like, what am I supposed to do? Especially when you get to looking at bills and you just, it's, it becomes too much. And with me, I get, because I do so much, I tend to get overwhelmed. And then when I get overwhelmed, I start forgetting stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, everything, like TTM is growing so fast. Like it, there's a million things going through my head and all I could do is just cry because it's like, okay, I did this on faith. I got to have faith, but you're going to have those moments where faith is, you lose it for a minute. Like you lose it. And some people, even not just entrepreneurs, people in general, some people, you lose your faith for a minute. Or you may lose it for a long time. But I know with me personally, I when I lose my faith, I cry. I cut my phone on Do Not Disturb, and I listen to worship music. While I'm listening to worship music, I will literally go from tears to worship. It's always been my remedy. So I got to a point, and it, it just came suddenly where I was just like, what? What am I doing? Like, what what am I doing? I, I got this purpose. I got these businesses, but how how am I gonna survive? Like, and I and then you think about the naysayers in your head also because that the the enemy is trying to tell you because because it's his mind is the your mind is his playground. He's trying to tell you that you can't do what God called you to do. So when you allow him to take hold of your mind, that's where you fail. And in that moment, because it's going to happen, in that moment, you think about the naysayers and the people who like, I told you so, like you should have stayed working and how are you going to pay your bills and you need to do this. People who don't believe you should be an entrepreneur or, you know, like things like that. You think about people who tell you you couldn't do it. And I'm grateful that I have, for one, a boyfriend who helps provide for things and is there. I'm grateful that I have friends that are a phenomenal support system. Like, I have a phenomenal support system. But for one, the best, the best way, and my friends know this, the best way for me to get through something is to get through it on my own. I will cut my phone on Do Not Disturb. And I literally just had to like push through it on my own. If it's something like this, it's nothing nobody can say to me. Because the type of motivation that I need to hear is the motivation that I give. And I can't give, no, nobody can give my motivation like me. And all I can say is just pray for me. Because you could tell me stuff all day. And I'm just like, I got to work it out on my own, though. Like, this is between me and God. I got to talk to God. He going to get me right. He going to get me back on track. Now, don't, you know, of course, I take encouraging words and stuff like that. But for one, I don't want nobody to feel bad for me. So don't don't feel bad for me. Just pray for me. Because this is a, it's a testimony learning moment. 
when I sat at that desk and I, I'm looking at financials, I'm looking at stuff that I got to do, I'm looking at all these things, and the first thing that come to my mind was, I'm going to have to get a job. And when I thought about that, I instantly bursted into tears because I'm like, Lord, I really don't want to get a job. Like, I, I didn't do this to get a job. Like, I, I stepped out on faith and became a full-time entrepreneur. I'm not quitting. I don't care how hard it is. I don't care how the bills going to stack up. I am not quitting. But in that moment, I wanted to. I actually saw myself because uh, y'all know the owner of Smoothie King. He uh, asked me if I wanted to be a manager. He'd been trying to get me to be a manager since I was 16 years old. And he's still trying. And I, and then I'm thinking, like, I'm borderline about to send him a text, like, bro, sign me up. <laughs> like, just just sign me up. Like, I and they pay very well. So I'm like, fuck it. Just, just sign me up. And the that thought is what made me cry. Because I'm like, that's not what I want to do. So if I do it, I'm going to be unhappy. I'm going to be forced to do it. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And it's just a, it's just a, it, it's, it's a hard feeling. It's a, it's a hard feeling because you have so many things going through your mind. Again, mind is the devil's playground. And I was just telling my boyfriend the other day that, you know, when it comes to money or when it comes to things like I don't I don't worry about it. I give it to God. And at the end of the day, that's what happens, because literally I will cry, get it out. And then I just be like, you know what? I can't do nothing about it. But those moments where you are stuck and you don't know what you're going to do are the ones that hurt, because then you start to say, well, God, you gave me this purpose. Why do I not have the proper tools to use it? Why am I being limited on what it is that I'm supposed to do? And then you get you you get to questioning God. And that's that's where you mess up. It should be God, you're gonna give me the tools to do this. God, you're gonna give me the blessings to do this. And I've seen it happen since I made this decision. I've seen him come through right on time every time every every time like my pastor say when i was down to my last dime there you go so if you've seen it happen then why are you worried about it you're worried about it because you're human you worried about it because first of all the devil gonna come after god's strongest children if if the if the enemy not coming after you you're not doing something right he going to come after the strongest ones because he's determined to take you down. But are you going to let him? And I'm talking to you and me at the same time. Because for one, I'm a motivator. Two, blocking is therapeutic. Three, I'm a transparent person. And I was like, you know what? I have to turn this test into a testimony like I do everything else. The last time I did, because y'all know I'm good to cuss and fuss and crack jokes, which I do all the time. Last time I did the emotional video was when TTM first became a 501c3. And I just couldn't believe it. Like, I couldn't believe I had accomplished that goal. And here we are five years later. And I find myself when I get in these dark moments, like, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? And ultimately, the answer is yes. You know, like when I see comments and messages about people that I've helped, like random people who've seen an article that I wrote or something, even about my abuse, and I read these messages about how I've helped these people. And I'm like, you know, and I tend to underestimate myself sometimes. I'm like, dang, like people out here really reading this stuff. Like I'm really out here helping people. And I know that in my heart. But it's like seeing it is like a whole nother feeling. And so I said, what are you doing? What are you doing? And and when by the time I end this vlog, I'm probably still going to cry a little bit. 
but that worship music gonna be playing something serious. I'm gonna pray. Me and God gonna have a discussion per usual. I might write something. And that's gonna be that. Cause at the end of the day, as me and Christian say, Romans 8 28, all things work together for the good of those who love God and be called according to his purpose. Let me tell you something. <laughs> all things work together for good. They work together. For those that love God and are called according to his purpose. His purpose. His purpose. He gave everybody a purpose. Use it. And if he gave you a purpose, he's going to give you the tools to use it. He's not going to just give you a purpose and not give you the, the tools to use it. He's not going to give you a purpose and not give you the people that are going to help you prosper in that purpose. And again, it's like, it's hard for me because I'm so independent and that's one of my flaws. It's a, it's a strength and it's a weakness because I fight with Ronnie about it. I fight with my friends about it. I'm overly independent. So it's like, yes, you can have all the help in the world, but this is my life. I had to make, these are my decisions. This is affecting my life. So I can't expect you to understand like, you can walk out, and this has a lot to do with having daddy issues, losing people at a young age. And, and Natalie said this, too, and it touched me because she has daddy issues, too. On one of her vlogs, she was like, it made her so independent that she can't accept help even from her husband. So she can't fully give her livelihood to somebody. Like, I can't just fully say, okay, here, you you pay everything, and I'm just, I ain't doing nothing. No, because what happens... If you're gone or even with one of my friends, what happens if you leave? Like even with one of my team members, like I put a lot in my team. I, I'm not a helicopter president, but at the end of the day, what what if you leave? Like, what is it? You know, you have this in your mind, this in this level of independence that can be a weakness. It's a strength, but it can also be a weakness because you there is a such thing as overly independent. So. You don't want to get to a place, whether you're an entrepreneur, and this is mainly for entrepreneurs because it's the struggle that I'm having right now. You got to hold on to that faith. It's hard out here for us, especially being black. Especially being black. We don't have the same opportunities like that SBA shit. Fuck that PPP loan. I didn't apply for that bullshit. I applied for the small one because, first of all, I know what the fuck I'm doing. That's a whole nother rant that I did. I did it for my one of my clients, but I, I don't need all that. Just give me the small one. And I got denied. I applied for reevaluation. I've been paying taxes on self-employed money for the past six years. I gave y'all six years worth of tax returns. That shows y'all, I've been paying the government. I can't tell you last time I got a refund, except for claiming my sister and nephew, because I pay y'all for a business that I run and I get a 1099. How are you going to deny me and say it's inconsistent when I pack it this thick? This thick, I had letters, I had tax returns, I had financial statements. I'm an accountant. So y'all know I gave these people everything possible. Could I have outsourced had somebody else do it for me? Yeah. I didn't want to do that. Let me I, some things I just like to do on my own. They denied me. Deny my reevaluation. And I'm like, okay, you get this to people who don't have shit, who are scamming, but then you got people like me and other business owners that I know who can't get it, that are actually legit. That shit pissed me off. But I said, you know what, fuck it. My cousin asked me today, she said, are you going to try again? I said, no. I said, fuck them and their money. I'm not going to try again. I'm just going to work 10 times as hard. And I'm going to make my own money. And I'm going to wait for God to bring these blessings. So, to my entrepreneurs, my black entrepreneurs out there, it's hard. I, I know it's hard. I feel you. I... I understand. Hold on, y'all, real quick. Y'all. <laughs> All I'm going to 
I'm gonna say I hate it here. I I really hate it here. Like I want to move so bad. And that's another thing that gets me is I lit I literally half the time I'm thinking about jobs or whatever it, I hate it here. Like I just I Anyway, <laughs> the devil can't have my joy. You can't have my joy. He can't have my joy. <laughs> Not today, Satan. Not today. Um, but it made me lose my train of thought. Jesus Christ. Um, but at the end of the day, times are tough. <laughs> and my phone on do not disturb and Ronnie just texts me, it's okay, babe. Um at the end of the day, times are tough. And I'ma end it on this. I'ma end it on this note. Yes, I'm pray for me. I'm emotional. <laughs> you wanna support black businesses, my information is below in the description. However you choose to do that, shout out to Tierra. Uh make sure y'all follow her. I'm gonna put her Instagram information in the description. <clears throat> and probably across the screen too um for supporting black she picked uh, black businesses she wanted to support and i was one of them so she bought some of my books shout out to her that's what i'm talking about like support people bro like y'all don't know how hard this shit is fam like this this shit hard when you have to literally like not know where your next meal may come from like you when you don't have a set paycheck that shit didn't hit me until my last like after my last paycheck from yes bro and then i was on the phone with christian and she was like yeah when i got paid friday and i'm like damn i ain't what's today like i'm used to knowing when the 15th and the last day of the month is because that's when that check gonna hit but when that motherfucker don't hit and you ain't used to having that consistent money that shit gets scary like, it gets scary. So, it's like, damn. It's like, what I'm going to do? What? what how I'm going to eat? And I'm not over here starving. I don't want people to think I'm over here starving. Because one thing about me, if y'all know me, y'all know I'm a hustler to my heart. I'm going to find a way. I'm always going to find a way. <laughs> like, I'm going to eat, period. Even if I had to ask for it, I don't care. I'm going to eat. I ain't got no shame in my game. Hey, bro, let me hold $20. Whatever. Whatever. I'll sell some shit. I'll do anything I have to do to make sure that I'm taken care of. And, well, one of my issues is I, I spend way too much money on other people. But, yeah, that's a whole thing in itself. Not too much, too much shade. <laughs> she know who I'm talking about. But I care a lot about other people. So, I always feel, like, determined to, let me get this. Let me get that. I got to get this. I got to get that. But I've gotten way better with that. Like, I ain't got it. <laughs> like, I ain't got it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't got it. I, and I keep telling everybody, like, shit, I'm unemployed. Like, that's the joke now. Every time somebody says something, I'm unemployed. I can't help you. But um, <laughs> the point of the matter is stay motivated in everything that you do. Don't get discouraged. You're going to get discouraged for that moment. I just did. And it still am a little bit. You're going to have those moments when you cry, when it's hard, when you want to give up. I can't tell y'all how many times, like, I literally cannot tell you how many times I've been on that floor crying, crying on hands and knees, having full breakdowns over business, over the fact that I miss my grandma, like, I, and nine times out of 10, most of the times when I'm crying in the midst of it, it's because I miss meals so much. That's why I put on this jacket. Because I had to remind myself, this is, this is who you are. This is who you are. You started Victorian Publishing for this woman. 
You started this bookkeeping company because you were made to be an accountant. You started the trouble movement because you had a difficult teenage life growing up and now you're trying to make a change. Remember why you started. Anytime you're going through something hard, anytime you're trying to build something, you're trying to create something and it's not going your way, or you're having a hard time, you're losing faith, you're breaking down, you're crying, remember why you started. That's why everything I start have meaning to it. Because as I'm sitting there crying and breaking down because I miss meal, at the same time, I can hear her telling me, get up. What are you doing? And in her words, get up, Shan. Don't, don't cry, my baby. What are you doing? You got a legacy. You have a legacy to build. Get up. I have to tell myself that. And that's what I'm telling you. As I tell myself, get up. What are you doing? Grab a hold of that faith. Hold on to it tight. Don't lose that because if you lose that faith, that's what go first. Once you lose your faith, everything else falls. Your mind, your emotions, your body, everything falls. Well, faith is the first thing to go because when you don't have faith, you don't have anything. You don't have any attention. You can't focus on nothing because now you're going into mental health issues. You might, if you like me, you have anxiety. Then you have mood disorder. You might go into a depression. All of that starts with faith. If you lose your faith, you're going to lose everything else. And once you lose everything else, faith is the only thing that's going to get you back to where you started. Don't lose that. Remember why you started and believe that he's going to give you the tools that you need. And I have to tell myself that. I have to tell myself, Miranda, it's okay. He's going to give you the tools that you need. He's going to give you the money that you need. You are going to be where you want to be in the next so-and-so years. I'm big on manifestation. I can see it. I saw TTM in this position where it's at five years ago when I started it. So I've seen, I've seen the work. But sometimes even when you see it, you still going to have hard times. You still going to have them times where you want to be like, you know what? I can't do this. It ain't in me no more. I'm tired. And I tell when, when Rodney asked me what's wrong, but I'm tired. And when I say tired, I'm not talking about physical. If anybody asks me anything, or if I say I'm tired to you, I'm never talking about just physical. Because I could be physically tired all day. When I say I'm tired, I mean I'm mentally tired, I'm emotionally tired, I'm physically tired. I'm tired because I'm working so hard. Because not only am I trying to put in the work, I'm trying to hold the faith. I'm trying to keep my spiritual level high. I'm trying to keep my connection with God high. I'm trying to stay positive. I'm trying to motivate, trying to keep my peace. I'm trying to fight my mood disorder. I'm trying to fight my anxiety, I'm trying to make sure my medicine right, I'm trying to make sure these kids right. Like I'm tired. And I've learned to, yes, I rest, but then that's another thing. When you're an entrepreneur, yeah, you can rest, but you can't rest too long because you got bills to pay. Just like you got to be at work. So that's that's pretty much all I got to say on that. I, I, I That's it. <laughs> that's all I can tell y'all. Like, that's really all I can tell y'all. Pray, have faith. Faith without works is dead. So if you're going to have faith, make sure you put in the work too. Period. I started Victorian Publishing for a reason. I started Evans Financial Solutions for a reason. I started the Trump Movement for a reason. I started being a motivator for a reason. I started this YouTube channel for a reason. That's what my lifelong dream. I love TTM. I love Victorian Publishing. I love Evans Financial Solutions or Evans Bookkeeping. My lifelong dream is to be a speaker. That's always what I wanted to do. I call myself a motivator for a reason. Because I know what I'm capable of. 
That's what I want to be known for. Amongst these other things, yes. But my ultimate goal is to be an international successful speaker. And there's always a beginning. I don't look at the numbers on my YouTube. I do. When they go up, I get excited. But I don't sit there and stare at them. I don't let them discourage me because they low. Because I know, I've, even though I've been having this channel five years, it's going to blow up one day. <laughs> one day, it's going to blow up. It ain't even about the money. It's just about the, the fact that people are listening to what I have to say. Whether I'm saying something crazy off the wall or whether I'm saying something like this. People listening. And that's what's important. So I don't I don't want to go past uh thirty minutes. I don't I don't did I don't did enough. I'm tired. Um, I'm going to bed, <laughs> but I am gonna post this tonight so I can go ahead and get it out. Just had to get that off my chest. I know it's probably gonna make it, it's definitely gonna make me feel better. Again, don't feel bad for me. I will take encouraging words. I will take prayer. I know it's gonna be okay. I I know it's gonna be okay. Like, I I literally, all the time, I just throw my hands up like, God, you got it, because I, I, I can't do nothing with it. <laughs> like, I'm done. I, it's a wrap. You got it. You going to handle this, because this battle ain't mine. It's yours. And I, I, look, I get to talking to the devil like, oh, you thought you had me? Sight. Because I'll be down, but I ain't going to stay there. And if you know me, you know I'm not. So that's that on that. I hope that helped somebody. Somebody needed to hear it because I needed to hear it. So somebody else needed to hear it too. I will see y'all in the next video. Give me some topics. I need some topics. And it's crazy because I just asked Christian for a topic today because I wanted to vlog in the car and I couldn't come up with nothing. I got one that I think I'm going to do, but I'll take some suggestions because I can only post with y'all. It's hard trying to come up with them. They kind of just come as they as they happen like stuff like this but uh i want to talk about what y'all actually want to hear so let me know i love y'all have a wonderful weekend have a wonderful sunday because at this point it's probably sunday because it's past midnight but stay strong have faith make sure you like comment and subscribe i don't know why i always say that at the end when i'm supposed to say it at the beginning bye